everyone, this is Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures and I have a third complete for you on my hashtag slash the stash 2020. I did get this done by January 31st. Super, super excited. Um, I actually got it done on the 30th. So that means three diamond paintings completed in the month of January. How fun is that? And um, so yeah, my goal is to just kind of keep the buying down and work on what I have in my, my stash. And so I just wanted to show this to you guys. And at the end of the video, I will be telling you how you can leave a comment and how that comment will allow you into my year long mega slash the stash 2020 prize package that will happen at the end of the year. So this is, I, I don't know, I don't have a fancy name for it. I called it the red orange Gerber Daisy. For those of you who are new to my channel, I have these review sheets. Um, there is a link down below if you would like your own review sheet. Um, it is blank. And so for every new canvas that I do, meaning new um, like distributor or new business, I do a review on. Now, sometimes I do more than one if one doesn't come out great and I'm, I'm looking at it. So that's what I'm going off of. I used to do an unboxing review and then a post review. Instead, I just combine them all together and I just have fun with the unboxing and then I do a post review um, video. So this is amazing. This was from um, Amy Reed over at crystalcanvas.us. All of her canvases are crystal or rhinestone. Absolutely gorgeous. I know she's out of this one right now, but please keep checking back because um, she is getting it in her shipment from China, but due to the coronavirus, things have been on hold. Um, just to kind of remind you, pardon my reach, um, I will put a link up in the corner of the unboxing, but it did come in a box like this. Um, great shape. She has a, um, you know, a little special touch. And then this is the picture on the box she put is the sticker of what you're gonna get. Um, I saw this on, I don't know if it was an Instagram or Facebook, and I just fell in love with it because I love sunflowers and, and just this rich orange yellow in a flower. Um, so my favorite color is like green, teal, aqua, but this just caught my eye. It was absolutely gorgeous. So um, like I said, I am just calling it the red, orange Gerber Daisy. It is a 30 by 50 centimeter, and that is the actual drill field. For those of you who are new, some companies do it based on whole canvas size, and some companies do it on drill field. And you don't really know what it is unless they tell you specifically or unless you've seen a, a review. Um, so was this a custom? No. Um, a drill type, it was special, the rhinestone slash crystals. The coverage was full. Um, number of colors, I forgot to put that down. This one had 13 colors. Um, let me turn my heater off, sometimes that gets a lot of noise in the background, so 13. Um, I got it off of crystalcanvas.usa. Um, the price was $22, not on sale, and I believe I got free shipping because I did over a certain amount. Um, I purchased it on December 10th, 2019, it was shipped December 11th, 2019. I received it December 14th, 2019. So that was three days, guys. So what Amy does is she has everything sent to her. She carefully goes through everything and then she sends it here from the United States. So she's the one waiting long term, we're not. 
I started it on January 22nd and I finished it January 30th. I did. I am starting to post um, on my Instagram, which is DP underscore addiction underscore adventures. Come check me out. I do like short little videos of what I'm working on, how many days I'm into it, my little gnomes, my my dog, my daughter's band concert, um, just different things like that. Just kind of catch up with me as my channel. Um, so there were a couple days I didn't work on it, um, but I think this took me 12, 12 days. No, eight days, something like that. Okay, so just to review the unboxing, if I were to give stars to it, I have five different categories. This painting got a 4.75 stars out of five, okay? So the first category was canvas quality. I look for the feel, the size, the glue, the symbols, and more. Excuse me. You always know it's a gen video because I yawn. Now, that was the only part that I gave it a markdown. Um, and I've told this before in the past, for canvas, you have to be above and beyond to get a full star for canvas. Um, the reason this didn't get a full star is that if I fold it, the fold stays for a little while. Um, but it's it's quality, It's there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I can't wait to cut off the sides and put this in my portfolio. It's going to, well, actually, I'm not putting it in the portfolio. I'm framing it and putting it on the wall behind me. I'll try to put a picture on Instagram when I do that. But um, companies that have more of a fabric, more of a surging around the side to keep from fraying, um, maybe self, self flattening, different things like that. Um, that kind of gets, I had to give room for, I don't give like 1.5 stars, so I had to give room for that. But the drills for quantity, packaging, number readable, full star, shipping, come on, three days, full star, advertising of the product, did I get what I want? Yes, when I measured it, it was a 30 by 50, it gave me all the crystals and rhinestones, it looked like the picture, um, overall impression, would I buy it again? Yes, that was a full star. So the unboxing was a 4.75. Um, so here's the post review, right? This is what we all want to know. Would, now that it's done, would I get it again? And absolutely I would. I gave it a 4.75 and I'm going to explain why it didn't get a full five. Um, so the canvas glue, complete stick, was it slippery, rivers, bubbles, etc. There was nothing wrong with the glue. The glue was fabulous. Um, really enjoyed working on it. Um, clarity, symbol clarity. So this is where it got um, a little deduction is over here. There's these symbols and then they're in a square. Um, and the, bo the whole box is a color, right? So red, green, red, yellow, like a light green, yellow, orange, so on and so forth. And then the symbol is inside. Now here the symbol is very easy to read. I love that the um, key is nice and large. However, on the canvas, what they did is they, it wasn't like a dummy circle or a, um, training wheel circle like in a black which is great I don't like those but for instance this red was actually a white circle with a black dot in the middle <laughs> so it's kind of like it was white so that you could see this you know it's crazy so this plus sign um, was really hard to tell that it was a, a plus um, on here so just like a couple of these when it shrunk down and they tried it to help the help actually hurt by them putting like this light background to it um so yeah it's kind of hard to explain but a couple times i was like wait what am i doing what is that um and then i had to like put the light pad on and, and test that all out so that got a 0.75. Drill quality and quantity, did I run out? Now I gave it a full star because I didn't run out and I was able to be picky. However, 
This happens with all crystals, and I don't think there's a way to upgrade the crystals very much. Um, but this was my trash. And a lot of it was the red color for, um, it's almost like, it's hard, it didn't have, I don't know, it was like a flat red instead of arching through the crystal rhinestone area. Um, hard to explain. And then um, the yellow through here, the colors weren't consistent at all. Um, I had plenty. I used this little container and then I emptied them all out when I was done back into their baggies. So as you can see, I had plenty of each color. Of course, the percentages of color based on how much I use, some of them have less in there. However, let me see, I think it was the A, which is number seven. So this one, it was like three different colors of yellow in here. And let me see, what was another, was it six? No, it was, yeah, the baggy six, which was six as well. Um, it was like three different colors. Now, the reason I didn't deduct is it actually gave it an amazing look, but it wasn't consistent across the board. It was like three different shades or, uh, you know, a third of them were more dull, a third of them were more glitzy, and then a third of them were more f like flat, which is really hard to explain. Um, so yeah, that's what I, but because it worked out, I didn't deduct. Um, from there but I just wanted to let you know um, and with rhinestones and crystals it is hard because of the silver backing you're gonna get some that don't have the coating on it um, you're gonna get some that are just like little bubbles they don't really have the silver um, you're gonna get some that have little silver etchings out the side you just have to be gracious with it, and if you don't like it, hope the company is good enough that they send you enough that you can sort through what you consider as trash. So, design success. You guys tell me. I absolutely love it. Um, it's so pretty in person. Um, it just shines and glows. I love with the Gerber Daisy how detailed some of these little petals got. The fact that it was only 13 colors was phenomenal in how much detail was received. And then the experience was great. I ended up, except for this last little bit, which if you get up close, you can tell that it's different. Um, I did it with a mesh ruler, which is one of these. And um, if you go on AliExpress, just type in mesh ruler and you'll find it. Um, I used a 141 size, which is the center size. Excuse me. And it's a 30 centimeter long. And so I did this all the way across. But the last, it's like right here. This last three inches, I was like, I've got to get this done. And this thing was taking me way too long to do. So I just took the... Oh, I missed one or one popped off. I'll fix that right now while we're talking. So, um, normally I put this on top of a light pad before I'm done to see if I missed any. Because I work on these really late at night. <laughs> so, 11. Um, so, yeah, I used the mesh ruler and then at the end I just took the plastic off and was like, I'm just going to do this right now and get it done and over with so that's what I did okay it's very hard to get one little guy out but we're gonna do it sorry if I'm off camera but I just wanted to complete this while I'm with you so it's done so yeah, so my post review, if you average those two together, the post review is 4.75. Anything with the four star rating or higher is something I recommend that you at least try and look into. I know she, like I said, is out of this current one right now, but she's hoping to get back to it. 
Um, so yeah, that is Amy Reed with crystalcanvas.us. Please go check her out, support her. She's an amazing businesswoman and she's so kind and sweet. Um, and she would love if you go check her out. Um, now, I've been doing a hashtag slash the stash. Um, and for those of you who haven't watched my past ones, go ahead and go back and watch. Um, for a chance. So basically what I am doing is every finish I have, um, I am giving a question that you guys will leave in the comments. Um, I forgot on my last one <laughs> to actually say it in the video. So check out the description to find out what the question is um, for slash the stash uh, finish number two. So this is slash the stash 2020 um, finish number three. And down below, I'd love to hear um, how you guys review your paintings. So you may not have a review sheet, but when you're done, do you look at it and you say, you know, it's very beautiful, I love it. Do you say two thumbs up? Do you say, throw this away? <laughs> do you say, like, at the end of the day, how do you know you like your painting? Do you like it because of the colors? Do you like it because of how it turned out? Do you get halfway through something and the image is not looking great so you stop? Like how do you decide your rating system on how much you enjoy? And I'm going to let you guys just kind of um, take that question and run with it however you interpret it, however you want to answer it. Um, I would love to hear from you. So that's kind of the question to put in the comment down below um, in order for you to be involved with the um, 2000 slash, I'm sorry, hashtag slash, <laughs> your hashtag slash the stash 2020. Oh my goodness. This is why I need to go to bed. So take care guys. Love you so much. Thank you for listening. And until next time, bye-bye.